I googled gay stock photo and this came up. They look happy and very gay. I want someone to put whipped cream in my mouth. Hey, it's Lucas. Welcome back to the Chan Chan. Instead of hiring a stranger to cover my mouth with whipped cream and other food items, today we're gonna be watching another old MTV show. We've watched the old MTV dating show where people gather on a bus and try to bang people while on the bus. We've watched the other MTV dating show where people date moms in hopes of banging their kids. Today, we're watching Room Raiders. It's a really heartwarming show where a guy goes through single people's bedrooms, snoops through them, and from just looking at their bedrooms, he decides who he wants to pound. It's really romantic. Currently, my bedroom would make me seem so boring. There's literally nothing in there. It's just a bed. That's all I have, a bed. There's also a dog bed that I sometimes sleep on. I also have a bedside table that just has a taser in it. It's a bedside table, you open it, it's empty besides a taser. You know you gotta defend yourself against against robbers and your family if they come visit. Time to watch Room Raiders. Hi, my name's Cody. I'm 23 and I go to school at Mesa Community College. Is he whacking off a cactus? Why is that a cactus? Am I an idiot? That's a cactus, right? And he's whacking it off, if I do say so myself. He's jacking off cacti. <laughs> I always sing naked in my shower. It's just a passion that I have, and I'll sing till the day that I die. Huh. This is interesting. Is he singing the words, I'm ready to play? While butt ass naked looking at the poor cameraman? I just picture the MTV cameraman in the bathroom with this naked gay guy, just like, when can I leave? Is work done today yet? I wanna go on a break. Can I take a lunch break? I just wanna go home and hang out with my wife and kids. Wasn't aware that when I started working for MTV as a cameraman, that I'd be filming what seems to be gay porn. If I can date somebody with some passion about life like I have, then that'll be good. <laughs> he sure has passion. Every time he sings, it sounds like the microphone is about to die. He's destroying the microphone. Time to meet the contestants. Hey, my name's Peter. I'm 22. I'm a full-time student. I'm from Scottsdale, Arizona. I can do a lot of things with my tongue you probably wouldn't believe. I can unwrap candy with it, make it half, and make it three-leaf clover. His tongue is talented. It's always good to lead with a fact like that. Put that fact in your Twitter bio. It'll attract the right people, I'm sure. Also, side note, I've always been so jealous of the people who can do that weird-ass thing with their tongue. Like, can't do it. My tongue doesn't have any talent. Sorry, ladies. Being gay is fun. It's fabulous. We get good hair, good clothes, good guys, good music. What else can you ask for? Honestly, so true. Being gay is a lot of fun. Especially when you do whatever that break dancing he just did was. That's fun. When I dance, I feel totally free. I love dancing on the street, dancing on the sidewalks, dancing in school, causing a scene. He calls that dancing. I call it humping ghosts. He's humping spirits. My perfect guy would be a surfer type. I really want a man who can ride a longboard. He prefers a surfer type so he can ride a longboard. <laughs> Think he means a dick. That was a dick innuendo, right? I caught that joke, sis. Hi, my name is Drew. I'm 19 and I'm a student in Phoenix, Arizona. I've always had like a preppy look, but lately it's becoming a lot more grubby. Ugh, I miss the early 2000s fashion. Look at those beautiful bell-bottom jeans paired with those sandals. Take me back, mama. The guys have no idea the crew is on their way. Every episode of this show, they set it up like the contestants have no idea they're about to be on Room Raiders. Peter, hey, morning. You're on Room Raiders. By catching them off guard, they'll have no chance to clean up or hide anything. So it starts now. I gotta get my shoes. You don't need your shoes, man. Let's go. Please. Let's go. You don't need any of that. They set it up like these guys had no clue they were gonna be on TV that day. They just get thrown out of bed and they're like, what? This is a reality show? I'm gonna be on TV today? Great. I guess I'll go with this. I had no idea I was gonna be on Room Raiders, but yay, I'm excited now. This would actually be a really good burglary tactic. Find a nice house, break in, tear them out of bed and be like, you're on Room Raiders, you have to leave. And they'll be like, okay, and then you just take everything. Take it all. Steal the TV, steal the family heirlooms. Mom's jewelry, it's gone, sis. Leave the pets. Don't be a dick. 
Let's go. Just casually thrown in the back of a van, feeling chill, going with it. So now all of the contestants have successfully been thrown into the back of the van and they're all just rolling with it, rolling with the punches. Hey guys, my name's Cody and you're on Room Raiders. Hey, hey Cody. Cody. Oh, he's cute. I'm gonna be picking one of you guys for a date. I'd probably rate him like a six or a seven. He said he thought he was really cute then followed that with giving him a six out of 10. That's a failing grade, sir. I'd be pissed. I feel like people nowadays don't do the whole like rating people's looks on a scale from one to 10 as much. I miss those days when you could just go up to someone and be like, you're a four. And then you'd start dating, you know? I got my spy kit and we're off to the first room. I give him a three, but I'm definitely gonna win it over you two. Mm. I'm sure you Oh will. yeah, okay, uh -huh. yeah. He just rated his appearance as a three out of 10. That's just plain disrespectful. At this point, all the guys in the van have concluded they think the main guy's ugly, but they're just going with it and they still wanna win. Which I totally understand. Winning an episode of Room Raiders is something you can take with you for decades. A clout token that doesn't lose its value. Okay, he's about to go through the first guy's room. Ready or not, here I come. Oh, let's not. Oh, do don't no. ever do no. that again. They were not into his beautiful singing voice. I feel like this whole episode, he's been trying to get a record deal. Like he's hoping someone will discover him from Room Raiders and I hope it happens still. I'm waiting for your debut single, hunty. Wow, it smells like funny in here. I mean, are you a bear? I hate when you go somewhere and it has a funny smell. Like there's just a moist, wet, damn, funky smell in the air. Zero stars on Yelp. I definitely notice a lay here. It's purple. I like that because, uh, you know, it tells me a lot about you. What does a lay tell you? All that tells you is that he's been to a Hawaii themed divorce party recently. Okay, let's take a look at your computer. Hopefully, it tells me a little bit about you. Oh, oh God. What a nosy body. Whoa. Look at it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Uh-oh, they had to blur his computer screen, which can only mean that he had some elder person porn on there. A hot night at grandma's house was playing. I'm sorry. Is that you? Oh, oh my God. Oh my goodness. Did you put the self timer on for that one? On second thought, I don't think we'll be taking any pictures together after what I just saw. Turns out it was actually just a nude and the guy is mad about it, which I don't get. The contestant did him a favor. Like he now knows what that guy's naked body looks like, which is always a good thing to know before you go on a first date. That's how my parents met. Okay, we're on to the next room. Literally all he saw in the first room was a Hawaii lay and a nude photo. Good first impression if you ask me. Okay, let's take it on in. Oh my God. I like that. What mm. was that? <laughs> I know, right? That was called that sex was appeal. That. There was a mixed reaction in the van of him humping the door as he walked in. When you pull something like that, you just got to accept not everyone's going to be on board with it. Some people might cut you out of their life after seeing that. I definitely like your vacuum. Yeah, vacuums are great. Why is this being included? Everyone has a vacuum. That's like going into someone's house and being like, I love that you have a toilet. That's cool that you have a light switch. Oh look, the Navy. I love semen. Ew, gross. Ew. Oh my God, this poor guy going through the rooms, none of his sex appeal advances are working. You have to admit that was a good line. Oh look, the Navy. I love semen. Get it? Cause men in the sea and like also jizz. Anyway, now he's looking through toy binoculars for some reason. Oh, I see it's the Grand Canyon. Definitely a beautiful place. Isn't it like the seventh wonder of the world? Yes. Well, I have the eighth wonder of the world and let me tell you, it won't fit in this viewfinder. Oh, oh my, I like that. Again, a mixed reaction in the van. He tried to make a fun comment about the size of his dick and the guys in the van, most of them didn't like it. Don't you hate when you hint about your penis size and not everyone enjoys it? Like when you're at a job interview and they're like, yeah, our company is getting really big, so we need some help. And you're like, big like my dick. <laughs> and then you don't get the job. Okay, I see more pornography. Oh my God, the porno. This guy also had a copy of A Night at the Nursing Home XXX. I'm disgusted with myself. It looks like somebody has a fetish for toes. All right, I don't have a foot fetish. Do you like my toes? Uh-oh, do you like my toes? You're dirty. Oh my God, the roasting of this guy for having a foot fetish. One of the guys in the van is like, you're dirty. You're dirty. The poor guy's even denying it. He's like, I don't have a foot fetish. Well, why do you have foot fetish porn then, sir? It doesn't add up, sis. We're all into different things. It's okay, own it. I'm into belly buttons. 
That's a lie, I just wanted to make you feel better. Belly buttons are actually an extreme turnoff to me, which is why I wanna date Kyle XY. Bring out the old trusty flashlight. Ooh, look what I found. Oh my God. I found a magazine and uh, he has a nice butt. Do you have a nice butt? Yes. Oh my God, how much porn do you have? Somebody puts their two hands to good use. Are porn magazines still a thing? I feel like in 2019, porn magazines are just so not needed because like every time you go on Instagram, it's porn. You go on Instagram and you see everyone's ass. Everybody's ass is on there. If your ass isn't on Instagram, are you even alive? Okay, we're on to the last room. Is this your phone? Uh-oh. Let's take a look inside and see what we have. Find something bad. Ooh, nice butt. Is this your butt? Oh, that totally is my butt. At this point, I knew there was gonna be some sort of porn on his phone. If we're following the pattern from every other room so far, he walks in and he's like, wow, this looks nice. Oh my God, there's naked people on a magazine. What? I'm shocked. Look what I found here. It's a purse. Is this your purse? Every gay man should have a bag. It's Liza Minnelli's purse. Men should not have purses. Exactly. I'm gay. Men shouldn't have purses? Purses don't have a gender, beach. In all seriousness, I want a purse. I don't have one, but I want one. I've always been jealous of girls with their purses. You can put so much in there. You can fit a $5 foot long BLT Subway sandwich in there. A small dog. Gushers. Without a purse, you can't really carry around anything. It's sad. I need a purse. Should I start a male purse? Fashion line? And what do we have inside? I see, oh, makeup. That's another bad thing. You just topped the queer chart. Hello, I'm gay. 2005 was a different time. People judged guys for wearing makeup. It's so different in 2019. Like my dad wears a full face of foundation to work at the factory every day. He contours, he highlights. My dad doesn't wear makeup yet. I feel like in five years he might and your dad will too. And I'm excited for that. You know, I like being pretty, but I don't think men should wear makeup either. <laughs> You're a gay I man. You're not exactly. a woman. Oh my God, 2005 sucked. What do you need the tongs for? Okay, let's see what you have in your closet. I see here that we have some panties. Men don't wear panties, honey. They're briefs. Those are panties. Those are panties. Those are briefs. This poor guy is being read to filth. Now they're making fun of his panties? Like, let him wear a thong if he wants to is what the Bible says. Also love the Avril Lavigne poster in the closet. Skater boy tings. Here we have a big feather boa. What are you, Elizabeth Taylor? Is this for your show? I, uh, you know queen. what, I am in a Gabriel-esque show. What's your favorite song? It's Raining Men, YMCA. This is another negative thing. Now the boa's too much apparently. What can he do? He can't wear makeup, wear cute underwear, or have a feather boa? What's the point of living? This is gonna be a tough decision and I have some thinking to do. Will Cody get laid with Peter, go sailing with James, or paint the town with Drew? Who is he gonna pick? The suspense is killing me. This is the exact feeling you get when your parents separate and you don't know if they're gonna get back together. Now, for some reason, he's gonna rate everyone's looks from one to 10. Don't know why this was needed, but it's about to happen and I'm excited to watch. I think that you are an eight, you are a six, and you're a four. Oh, that's sad. Oh, that poor last guy. Getting called a four in front of a whole camera crew. Why was this part of the show needed? Can't he just announce whose room he liked the best and we end the show? Like, why do we have to add in this part where he straight up just calls someone ugly? In one of the rooms, I found a foot fetish video. I like nice feet, but I'm not that into feet. So there would be no toe sucking tonight. Get to step in. Hi, James. Hi, James. And I'm a little upset because I rated your feet a 10, so. Oh, well, thank you, James. <laughs> he eliminated the foot fetish guy. Bye, sister. Now for the final decision. Is he gonna date the makeup boy or the guy whose room smelled like shit? In another room, I found a bed sitting on the ground and it had dirty sheets. Cleanliness is close to codiness. So room number one, you're out of here. Name's Peter. Kind of funny, you're only a four too. Right. <laughs> I love when someone gets eliminated on an MTV dating show and they leave with an insult. So classic. At one moment, they're so excited to get picked and then once they get eliminated, they're like, I didn't like you either. You're crusty like McDonald's fries that have been sitting out for a week, you beach. I thought you were an ugly beach anyway, beach. Drew, nice to meet you. Nice I'm Cody. to meet you. So I have one question for you. Okay. What's up with the purse? Bag. Well, what about a man bag? What about your 
bag. It's called a man bag. Same difference. He made fun of his purse and now he also has a purse? The hypocrisy. Ugh, now they can both take their purses, head down the street to the local Applebee's and have a hot first date. This is so romantic. I can feel the love. So how does a picnic sound to you? Sounds good. All right, let's go. All right, let's go. How does a picnic sound? Sounds good. Let's go. Okay, let's go. The chemistry between them is on fire. Toast to, to our first date. In a new relationship. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. Word on the street is they're still together today. They live on a farm in North Dakota with three adopted kids from Jamaica, and they go on family vacations every summer to Des Moines, Iowa, which just so happens to be their favorite city. To them, Des Moines is the city of love. I made all that up. I'm sure they never talked again after this episode. They 100% ghosted each other, took their purses, and went separate ways. They might as well be dead to each other. I love romance. Well, thank you guys for coming along on this journey. It was very romantic. I'm feeling the love and I know you are too. Don't forget to subscribe so you never miss another hot video like this. Comment below what type of elder person porn you have. And with that, I'm gonna go. Bye, bitch.